This is Mike Farley. We're in South Lake, Texas tonight, and it's a hot one. But boy, this is a hot project. So we had a project. We blew this whole thing up. You'll see the before picture. It's just explosion. I mean, it was a. It took days to clear out all the debris here. We wanted clean, neat, and tailored. We had a hillside to deal with. We wanted to see the pool from inside. And so what that meant is we had to terrace this down the hillside. And so what we did is came off the porch two feet to a big terrace. So as you're sitting inside the house, your eyes look out. We could put something low there. So we've got lounge chairs. And then we step down another 18 inches and that gets us to the pool. The spa is flush with the top level. We drop 18 inches, it's a nice seat bench. The spa very comfortably sits eight people. We've got some nice sheer rains uh, taking place here along the wall to give us some nice sound. So then we had to step down another couple of feet, which we can use as a seat wall here. This got this terrace to the grade relative to the existing trees behind us. So can't change grade around the trees. So we had to have that. And then we stepped down another 18 inches, which gets us to the grade of the next group of trees, which also helps us incorporate some built-in seating along with a fire pit terrace down here below. So this is all on one end of the pool. The other end of the pool, which we had a cross slope in this yard, this side's higher. It's dropping all the way down to the lowest point in the yard down at this other end. So the elevations to make it work on the other end are totally different. So let's go take a look down there. So we're down at the other end of the pool. So pool level, we stepped down another two feet to the cabana level. So in doing that, we had to have some retaining up against the house. And so our outdoor kitchen acted as the retaining wall down on this section. But before I forget, we've got a really nice fireplace that we can see from inside the house as we look out down here on this end. We use the gable end with the cabana with the vaulted ceiling. So as you look from the house through this structure, it's not like you see all roof. So you see a lot of open space and the trees on the other side. This cabana was set up so we had a living area, a dining area, and a cooking area. So it's really cool over here. We've got a sink set up here. We've got refrigerator set up here. We've got a grill. We've got trash. We've got the awesome ice maker and then the pizza oven cool of all cools here and cook some mighty fine pizzas in this lynx pizza oven now what happens is we have a backsplash here all this is a retaining wall you can see the foundation of the house there uh, which we had the old foundation covered we step down here this is a deck ton uh, countertop which is a really nice countertop you want to check that out if you haven't seen it we have a vaulted ceiling here no exposed beams, so it's real clean and neat with the cedar, tongue and groove cedar. And then we've got the pool down at this area. So we still had to transition down in the yard, so we put some plants along the edge of the cabana. And then there's a retaining wall down at the, the farthest drop down here. Over here, we just got a couple of steps to walk off to the grass. So again, elevation's key on how these pieces fit together. We've got an awesome pool. Uh, we got a great visual from inside the house. We've got a great visual from the cabana. We've got a great space that transitions all this. And you should see the before pictures. I mean, it's night and day uh, between the two. So uh, this is Mike Farley. Hope you like that brief explanation of this project. We used limestone pavers also here because they're nice and cool. This is a Versailles pattern. It's all kinds of details on this project. We'll explain some of them in future videos. So Mike Farley, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and we'll see you all later. Take care.
time stands still when you look my way.